a good day. This is Dokli once again. Um, this episode is not about Irsus tutorials because I am still waiting for the final copy of episode number two. Actually, I was asked by a former student, kung paano ko ba daw uh, dinadala yung COVID-19, how I deal with the impact of COVID-19. Sabi, affected ka ba, sir? Uh, you look happy, you look relaxed. So, am I re- am I affected or not affected with COVID-19? Yes, of course. No one is exempted from the effect of COVID-19. But perhaps I look happy and I, I look relaxed because it is my choice to be relaxed and to be happy despite and despite this pandemic is our choice. It's my choice. So I would like to give my personal tips on how to deal with uh, COVID-19 and perhaps you would learn something and we learn something about personal preservation <laughs> so i would i would be using the letters of the alphabet and i would start uh, with letter a and i would end with letter i and i would just continue so a for attention so attention what do you mean by attention so you have we have to i have to follow the government set pr- protocols like social distancing wearing of face mask and uh, being attentive to details so, ako, uh, when I am going out, I, I am using different bags because it depends upon um, the nature of our appointment, of our business. If I go to the office, I am using my office bag. So, every bag, I have a small sanitizer or, or small uh, uh, alcohol and some uh, wet tissues for protection because we never know when we need it. So... That's it. Okay? So we have to be attentive. Like, we have to schedule the time that we, uh, we're going out. We have to uh, schedule what time is the best to go out for our business uh, to ensure that we would not be mingling with many people. So that's my personal tip. Just very simple. Just being attentive to, to the things that we need to do to protect ourselves. And I know you can do that, right? Second is basic needs. This is really very important. Um, when the government announced the lockdown, uh, the, the, the quarantine, in the early period of, of COVID in the Philippines, many people were into panic, buying many things. And they just realized month after that they actually don't need those things. So, when we buy in the supermarket or in the grocery, we have to write down the things that are really very essential for our day-to-day living para hindi tayo makapag-overstock and, and di masayang yung mga, mga foods or mga goods na especially perishable. Kasi di naman pwedeng two months in the refrigerator yung mga, mga meat, di ba? So, we have to, to prioritize the things that are really necessary for our survival. Ganon. Good. Yes, sir. May pera ka. Paano yung wala? It's just a matter of budgeting. It's not about having money or, you know, because ang, ang tanong naman talaga is, uh, ano yung essential? Of course, rice. Ulam. Canned goods. Okay, kape. Gatas. Ganon. <laughs> okay. So, bawal pasaway. Peer. For bawal pasaway. Third is letter C. I would, I would uh, select C for mm-hmm, create a supportive environment. Wag tayong nega, okay? Maraming mga tao na purus negativity yung ini spread sa kanilang pamilya at sa kanilang community. Puro comments, puro fake news. Okay? So, kung di kailangan magsalita because we are not authorities, we are not we are not uh, health authorities to give opinions about COVID-19. So, huwag na tayong magsalita. And we should segregate what is actually truthful or what is actually doubtful. 
because it can create chaos and emotional instability to people. So, you have to communicate with, see for communication with people. Like, you know, social media is, andyan lang eh, andyan lang yung social media. So, if we know of our friends, our family members, even far from us, who are experiencing problems, we can create we can still create communication, open communication, use social media, okay? So, uh, if it is not necessary for us to advise to people, wag na. Baka makapagdagdag pa tayo ng problema. So, if it is necessary, kung tatanong ka, give factual information. Ha? Para magkaroon tayo ng isang healthy community or isang healthy uh, and supportive environment. So, yun yung ginagawa ko, na. I am a doctor, yes, but I am not a doctor of medicine. I am a doctor of education. I am a doctor of human resources. So what is what is really my authority with regards to COVID-19? Wala. Okay? Next is letter D for drink plenty of water. So yung iba, now they are adding uh, lemon juices or herbs or whatever. Ako, no. Uh, I don't I don't like that because delicate yung throat ko. So I am drinking usually warm water and as much as possible you know eliminate soda and unhealthy drinks or beverages to your system. And then E for eliminate unnecessary exposure. Kung hindi kailangan lumabas Bakit kailangan lumabas? Diba? Sir, birthday. Hindi ba pwedeng mangyari o dadaan yung araw na birthday ng kaibigan mo or colleague mo na wala ka? Na hindi ba talaga mangyayari yung birthday kung wala ka? <laughs> diba? So, kung hindi kailangan lumabas, huwag kang lumabas according, according to Kim Chu. Right? Okay. This is wala mga best. Bakit ba kailangan di naman tayo, uh, di naman, I, I mean, we can still celebrate birthdays and other events na hindi kailangan magsama-sama. Okay? And then, F for face masks. Okay? Ako, this is really very important. Ako, I think I have 15 or 20 face masks. Every time na lalabas ako, uh, I'm wearing new face mask. Yung iba may, may shield pa nga. Asan ba yun? May shield pa nga. Okay? So, my technique here is every time nalabas ako, pag balik ko, I leave it outside and collect later on and then lalaban ko agad. Huh? Kasi yung iba nag-recycle ng face mask eh. <laughs> That's not good. And then, G for uh, what? Generosity. Ito yung being generous. Ito yung right time for us to be generous. Okay? Share to other people. Sabi nila, hindi enough yung uh, income namin, yung resources namin to give. Hindi yan totoo. We can still share even if we don't have that much. Okay? So, if you are experiencing scarcity, may mga nagigirap pa sa'yo. And, kung pwedeng magbigay, magbigay. Okay? Being generous. And then, it's for hobbies. Uh, instead na problemahin mo yung possible effect or impact ng COVID-19 sa'yo, why not just reconnect with your previous hobbies? It can be reading, it can be cooking, it can be baking. Ako, if you look at my working table, I have cacti. Okay? Ha? Huh? <laughs> so, uh, I got addiction na nga because I have plenty of collection of cactus here in Tagbularan City and then sa residence ko din sa Valencia. So, this serves as my anti-stress ko sila. Huh? So, not just about cacti, not just about sensivirias or whatever. Kung ano yung pwede mong gawin para ma-enjoy mo yung sarili mo, do it. Ako, I developed some skills in carpentry. I I constructed my own chicken house. Mayroon akong chicken. And I, I am proud to say that I am the one 
constructing. Na hindi ako naging generous sa mga craftsman sa amin. <laughs> Because I want to, to learn no? uh, the basic in carpentry. And I'm proud to say, nagawa ko sila. And I have chickens now. <laughs> And then I, our last letter for this episode is ignore negativity. Okay? Kebs na sa mga negative people, sa mga mga negative na whatever. <laughs> na? Doon na tayo sa positive, guys. Uh, wala namang uh, maaring maibigay na mabuti if we are full of negativity. Na? Positive lang tayo. Trust God. Support our government. Na? Help each other. So, ganon. <laughs> Yun yung ginagawa ko. That's why I look happy, I, I look relaxed. Because I actually do those things that I share to you. Okay, so it's 10 minutes already. Thank you so much for watching.